So in recent times, there's been a lot of discussion about the NFL Super Bowl being the biggest sporting event on earth. Some have argued that the NFL is more popular than the Premier League, the FIFA World Cup, and the subject of this video, the UEFA Champions League. While the Premier League is a globally renowned domestic competition, it didn't feel right to compare it to the NFL because England is a country made up of 67 million people versus the USA with 331 million people. The Premier League has a relegation concept as discussed in my video, which you can see here. But on the other hand, the NFL is a closed league, meaning that if you play terribly and win no games during a season, you'll still be in the NFL for the following season. While the Champions League is not closed per se, there is no concept of relegation. Being that it's a cup competition, it's easier to compare and contrast against the NFL Super Bowl. Both the Super Bowl and the Champions League final occur annually and both pit professional organizations against each other. In 2023, UEFA estimated that a global audience of over 400 million people watched the Champions League final between Man City and Inter Milan. That is far greater than Super Bowl's 2024 record of approximately 123 million viewers. The NFL is one of the most widely televised sporting leagues in the world. The average television viewership of a regular NFL season game in 2023 was approximately 18 million. And as mentioned previously, this year's Super Bowl surpassed viewership of around 120 million. So if we were to base our view on which is bigger between the NFL and the Champions League based purely on viewership numbers, then it's clear that the Europeans win. So why do Americans feel as though their beloved NFL is the biggest sporting spectacle on earth? Could we attribute this to the dearth of Americans who have passports, travel abroad and or speak a second language? Could we attribute this to Americans viewing the world through a very American lens? That is to say, thinking that everything outside of America is inferior and or needs solving? Or is it because of money? As discussed on my video about the NFL, which you can find here, the NFL is a cash cow. Revenues in 2022 were approximately $19 billion, 10 billion of which comes from broadcasting. Franchise valuations are at all time highs. There are 14 franchises valued at $5 billion or more. Now, in comparison, Champions League valuations lag those of the NFL. From the 2023 football benchmark, we can see that the enterprise value of a grand total of zero European football clubs surpass $5 billion. With that said, the recent acquisition of a 25% stake of Manchester United by Sir Jim Ratcliffe valued the club at more than $5 billion. But this sort of valuation is uncommon in European football. But let's put valuations and revenues to the side for a second and let's discuss feelings. Yes, exactly what my therapist tells me to do more of. There's a general feeling that the Super Bowl is one big, grandiose event that manages to monetize its notoriety in a more effective manner than any other sporting spectacle, including the Champions League. The Super Bowl also has a celebrity frenzy around it, a long buildup and fans calling for a national holiday in the USA. And as of late, many non-sport followers have jumped onto the bandwagon of the NFL because of Travis Kelsey's involvement with pop star Taylor Swift. Now, speaking of the difference in perception of the NFL versus the Champions League, in 2022, the Paris Saint-Germain president Nasser Al-Khilafi said this, I can't understand how the Super Bowl can feel bigger than the Champions League final. The Super Bowl and the US generally have this mindset, creativity and entertainment. That's what I've suggested, to have an opening ceremony to the Champions League, to have one match on the opening night where the winners take on a big team. Maybe it's not a good idea, but at least let's change the status quo. Each match needs to be an event and entertainment. Now, this sentiment is shared by many, especially American owners of European football clubs who feel as though the game in Europe is underexploited. The NFL, to its credit, has found a way to maximize value for its shareholders by effectively exploiting the game. And just for context, Super Bowl halftime ad slots go for up to $7 million for only 30 seconds of airtime. Now, another reason why NFL lovers tend to give European football flack is because of the lack of variability in champions. There are two things you can be sure of in the Champions League. 
Firstly, that PSG will bottle it at some point in the knockout stages of the tournament. Secondly, that one of the wealthiest teams in Europe will ultimately win it. If we take a look at the Champions League winners for the last two decades, this is the result. Bar Porto, each one of the teams shown feature regularly in the top 20 positions of the Deloitte Money League and are the wealthiest teams in Europe. On the other hand, if we look at the NFL Super Bowl winners over a similar period, the wealthiest franchises do not always win. This can be attributed to socialism present in American sports as discussed in my video here. So it's understandable why somebody would say the NFL is much bigger than the Champions League. The show or fan frenzy is greater with regards to the Super Bowl. The money the league generates compared to other leagues and competitions is superior. For context, the NFL generates approximately $19 billion in revenue, whereas the Champions League only generates around 3.1 billion euros in revenues. If you're based in the US, you may think the sport's bigger because approximately 75% of Americans follow the sport. So as a result, it may seem larger than it actually is because of the ubiquity of the sports in your immediate surroundings. But based on a more global narrative, one could argue that the Champions League is bigger because of the following. Football or soccer has more of a global reach than American football. It also has more global superstars than American football. On Instagram, for example, just look at how many followers Mbappe or Neymar have relative to your favorite NFL athletes. And lastly, more Americans watch the Champions League final than foreigners who watch the Super Bowl. In my humble opinion though, even though nobody asked, I think there are things both can learn from each other. The Champions League could do a better job of creating more of a show, a spectacle if you will, that brings more eyes and sponsors to the competition. Perhaps introduce Golden Goal, who knows? In any case, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.